are here at the Healthcare Systems Process Improvement Conference in Orlando. And this is Robert Shapiro. I've met you before, I believe, at the BPM Summit. Pleasure to see you again. Pleasure to see you again, too. Uh, and uh, I, I've seen a demo of your product, uh, Process Analytica. Uh, is the company and uh, could you tell us uh, uh, first of all uh, your full name uh, and, um, uh, uh, and then tell us about your uh, your, pr your product. So this is Robert Shapiro and what you see here is all done with a product called Optima. Called Optima. Optima made by Process Analytica uh -huh. and basically uh, this is uh, illustrated with an application in healthcare, a supply order delivery system mm -hmm. in a hospital and the due process improvement, our idea is that you should, it should be based on factual data. So a historical analysis is done of the what's been digitized by the hospital systems themselves. That analysis is used to actually construct a model which represents what's going on. So it's factually based on the data. So is this, is this an example of uh, process mining? This is, this is process mining, except I call this part process discovery, because it's actually discovery in the process, not just the statistics. Okay. Right. Well, kind of kind of talk us through here. So we're going through the, the next stage here is it's, it's, it, the algorithm has created a model. This is only two frames from the model. The model is more complex, but it's, it's about the supply order system. There's an analysis done of a problem. How fast should stat orders be delivered? The objective is 10 minutes. It's not anywhere close to that objective. So then the question is to do a root cause analysis to find out what the problem is. Mm -hmm. That root cause analysis decides that within one of the processes, the actual transport of the, of the order materials is taking much too much time. It I mean, itself is using 13 minutes and the objective mm -hmm. for the whole process is 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. There is an analysis which says what has to be fixed and then you can make different proposals for how to fix it. These are two different proposals that have been generated, one of which combines staff training mm -hmm. with some technology improvements. The other one is purely technology improvements. It compares the two uh, on a return on investment basis, looking at the cost of doing it versus the benefits that you're getting out okay. of it. And then you can, you can therefore choose whichever of these proposals are made. The proposals are made with the guidance of this information, but human beings make the proposals depending on what they sense is important. So the outcome of this is uh, solutions that satisfy the objectives. You see that stat orders are being delivered in 10 minutes, which was mm -hmm. the original objective. There's some further analysis here looking at the workforce involved in it, looking at all the different categories, the nurses, the people in the supply work department, and so forth. Uh, so this is a way of modifying the whole approach to uh, process improvement by injecting real data into the initial uh, construct of the model. People don't have to draw a model, it's built mm -hmm. for you automatically, and then it plays the role of making these predictions. In and I saw a, a demo, uh, and it looked like, um, compared to other, uh, there's a simulation uh, aspect to this as well, right? Isn't there a kind of a, a, an event simulation? Yeah, there's a discrete event simulator that's built into this. Okay, and, and I thought that the, um, uh, the, 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 the rules or the, the way in which it generated the simulation and the reports, uh, there's, it actually seemed quite intelligent. Would you say that it has a various sort of sorts of rules and so it's, forth? It's completely the, the, uh, that generation is completely automated on the basis of looking at the statistics. It figures out what all of the tasks are, how they're interconnected, mm -hmm. how much time they've been taking in the right. past, and. That information is the basis for looking at, well, if I change this, how will it affect what I care okay. about? Well, it's fantastic. I, and I, I, like I said, I, I met you at the Business Process Management Summit, and I kind of kind of, uh, sort of uh, recruited you to come over into the healthcare area, uh, to, at least to this conference. I know you have a prior interest in that, so I'm delighted that you made it down here to Orlando. And I appreciate that suggestion. It was an ideal place for me to make my entrance into the using my technology okay. in the health care well, sector. Fantastic. Robert, have a great rest of the conference. Thank you. Pleasure.